And welcome to Bantam's Banter TV, episode six. That's right, some of you are still watching it. Yeah, you. Hang on, I'm sorry, there's just a kid behind the camera putting me <laughs> off. Jack, behave. I'll tell anyway, you, Dad. This is Bantam's Banter TV. It's the last one of the season. It is. Um, you, it, you won't see us again doing this. Yeah, because it's been, it hasn't it gone down all that no, well. No, it hasn't really. It might have done. Where's your little, gre there's a little gremlin behind camera putting me right off. Right, you're going to get it. <laughs> Well, last time we played Crawley, of course, we had a massive... Was well, that the last time we played it? We had a massive punch-up. Oh, yeah, Johnny Matt, yeah. Well, Luke Oliver is no longer here. Not because what of, did Oliver not because do of that. that. I what think he Oliver went do? in with shin pads, didn't he? <laughs> what, the lead, lead lined <laughs> shin pads? But Johnny Mac threw a haymaker. Yeah, it did. Mag I mean, Maglock, Maglock maker. I would never... The Maglockenspiel. I know that's an instrument, isn't it? The, uh, yeah, it is. I would never condone a, condone a punch. I don't know about you, but I definitely condoned that. Yeah, because we all... And Steve Evans was still the manager at the time as well. I exactly, think. yeah. I mean, Crawley are a totally different beast now, aren't they? Going from one beast to another. <laughs> I mean, they've had a lot... Oh. They've had a lot of money behind them. Money thrown at them. I it's think, like, I think it's, it's like starting to... thousands I, at your Sunday League club. It doesn't make sense. I do believe he's started to pull the money out now, though, hasn't he? All ah, right. Take that back, then. Why? What do you mean he's trying to pull it out? Well, he's, what, he's, he's, like, stopped, he's stopped putting as much in, I think. Oh, right, okay. And that, that's why... Are you surprised? They haven't really... Pre they really like saying... Pre five, they were like a five-year plan to get into the Premier League or something. Remember? Yeah. They want pictures saying, in five years, we'll be playing in Premier League. Oh, that Jeff Richmond. <laughs> yeah, anyway. getting two stories confused. <laughs> yeah. But it is like a five-year plan, and then there's Zach Steve Evans, and now they're just like bobbling around in League One. But can you imagine Crawley in the Premier League? No, it's not right, and Tonight's is fixture is the exotic Manchester City against Crawley. Crawley. <laughs> Let's see. I mean, I honestly couldn't point to Crawley on a map. Me neither. Where is it? Cranny, where is Crawley? Where is Crawley? Uh, it's in London. Don't know which. What borough? Oh, give me a sec. <laughs> <laughs> he looks really worried. He went, oh, he's terrified. I was under the geography at school. Is that your final answer? Is that your final answer? <laughs> Do you want to phone a fan? Phone a fan. Do you want to phone a fan? <laughs> yeah. We'll come back to you, Cranny, but you better have details when we come yeah. back. Oh, you're sapped. We'll find out. <laughs> it's really bad, though, isn't it? <laughs> Look like a rabbit in head, like... <laughs> <laughs> it's London? It's, it's quite an, I think they're London. But we should know. Like, if we went to away games, because obviously we're not proper fans, are we? We yeah. know, won't we? We've got children, jobs, and all sorts going off. Yeah, I like to mow my lawn on a Saturday afternoon. It's all right if you're 16 and still a virgin. Go to all these games you what, want. What, you're only like go if you're still a virgin? <laughs> There's a lot of 16 year old out. Honestly, I don't think that that's. Like, don't every, get me wrong, that's not in the description. <laughs> uh, well, you went and you got a buy an away ticket. Are you a virgin? <laughs> yeah. Can I see proof? I can't tell you. The, oh, you yeah, might we, noticed, we haven't alluded you to You might it. have noticed on camera. I mean, Banter's Banter TV people are going to be the ones that, that notice this the most. Yeah. But I keep. I've, I've got new glasses and I'm really struggling to get used to them. I keep touching him like Eric Morkham. <laughs> um, we had, we've had a good shout by Cranny. Heston Blumenthal with hair. It's nonsense. Look into the camera. That's just because he wears Look glasses. Look into the camera. That's just because Heston Blumenthal wears glasses, though. Smile. What? If you smile, you look more like Heston Blumenthal. <laughs> <laughs> and say, say, poach duck. Poach duck with vanilla ice cream. Because <laughs> he cooks that weird stuff, doesn't he? Yeah. It's not weird, it's just experimental, although the poo popcorn were an interesting one. Poo popcorn? Manure popcorn. Manure wow, flavoured popcorn. Stupid, Thomas. I'm not being stupid. Google it. Google manure. That, that's what most people say when they go to that flying duck or whatever it's called. Flying when they're looking through the menu. No, you're just being stupid. <laughs> you're just being daft now, Eston. Gherkin Where's ice cream. and chips? <laughs> just put a normal normal food on there, mate. But didn't it get done for hygiene? They had to close yeah, it, it down, is, didn't yeah. they? Yeah, filthy. That's, that's what happens when filthy you make a duck. load of dodgy food. You, well, you've got to talk into the microphone, Cran, if you're going to talk. Crawley is in Sussex, by in the way. In Sussex. Sussex, Sussex. So not London. Oh, it's Catalan, isn't it? So, yeah. so anyway, we'll come back to you, Granny, when it's Twitter time. Ooh, I like this. That's right. We've I like this latest feature. For the, the last last <laughs> for the last episode of Banners Banter, we've introduced Daniel Cran on Twitter. He's like Andy Peters and them other like part-time What's on the hub on the other morning? Yeah. This morning, he comes in and reads out tweets and messages. What a gig that is! I imagine they get like a couple of grand for that. Easy, and they'll get grand. travel expenses. Oh, they get all sorts. They'll probably get lunch. Did I ever tell you that I once interviewed Andy Peters about barbecues? About barbecues on beaches. It was when I worked why, at BCB. Why is, that, why is that relevant for them? For for Andy Peters? I don't know. But it was about. Is he a particular 
fond of barbecues and beaches. I asked him that very question. I said, why am I interviewing you about this? I want to talk to you about Gordon Gopher and, and, and live and kicking, mate. I don't want to be talking to you about this. There's a tweet that I want to read out here. Go on. Uh, it's from Pete Chapman, who sits in front of us. He's our master detective. He's put, the end of another season of listening to the gobshite tennis that is the genius Bantam's banter. You've got some cheek. Sat right behind me. You've got I'll some cheek. I'll have you know you've our got some cheek. intellectual debate, as it is known. You've got some hats. <laughs> you've got some hats. That is a new hat. You've got some wardrobe. Well, the new hat. I'm not sure that's all right to just take a man's hat off him. Oh, sorry, oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Chappers. I look like Oliver Twist. That's actually you very rude, isn't it? To remo <laughs> yeah. remove a man's hat without permission. Like he's a plaything. Like, like <laughs> give, give me that. He's, he's a bit <laughs> like a pet to us. But you don't really love me. You just keep me hanging no. on. Do, 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 do. No, no, no. Love get that song, out, actually. Get out of my life. life. Do you reckon oh. that's what they say to players when they don't want to give them a new contract? <laughs> <laughs> Get out, get out of my life. We should talk about contracts, shouldn't we? We are going to have already said that. Yeah, but I'm quite, I'm quite emotional about it all. Because there's some players I might not see again. <laughs> Stephen Darby, Gary Thompson, James Hans. Oh, no, right. Teddy's genuinely going to be absolutely distraught about Gary Thompson. They've, 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 what would you do if he came to you? They've initiated a special bond. What would you do if he came to you and went, I'm okay to call Daddy, Gary Thompson dad? <laughs> So as long as he keeps giving me free boots, mate, of course. <laughs> yeah, don't got some boots. Call him what Thompson. you want. All right, don't, I don't want to give you that information well, you now. you just said it. You just said it. I know, but we're just, anyway. <laughs> yeah, but they are for Teddy, aren't they, when he's older? Yeah. The Perfect for, eight and a half. They're for Teddy. <laughs> <laughs> we should say, we should say, because we want, I want to, we wanted to give some boots away as a prize. So we tweeted Roy McArdle's girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. And you see, uh, we, what we what we want to do is we, we know that we've 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 got some sort of bond with the players now because we interview them and there's some of them listening stuff. So. so we thought it'd be good to try and tap them up for a few boots that we could give away to our listeners. Exactly. Who, who might be embarrassed to ask for boots? So we took but that we so took that hard. embarrassing thing on the chin. We did, but it's so hard to like ask it, for a pair of boots. Now Tom, Tom were drafting in the in the Twitter draft pages. Um, <laughs> okay, I, don't, I can't really talk about, about this. Actually. About, I don't we were drafting about what he was going to say to Rory's girlfriend to try and get to do it as a boot, and it kept popping up on my uh, my Twitter. New draft added, and he must have done about three thousand. <laughs> it was, it was it's embarrassing. There's no, there's no easy way of doing it because you want to be nice about it, but you don't you don't really know the person, so you can't be like, hey, how's yeah. it going? But let's cut a long story short. Yeah, we, we didn't get any boots. Yeah, she, she she didn't reply, and there were no boots to give away. So if anyone wants cuddles, yeah. It's fine. And the competition prize this week is an empty shoebox. Pink. It's, it looks like he's got like uh, a tummy ache. It's like trying to get a squeeze of oh. Trump. It's like trying to squeeze a Trump out. And you were shouldn't about them spaghetti oops. <laughs> That's what position you do when you try to get a Trump out. Yeah, and you rock backwards and forwards. And like that. Have you ever felt more vulnerable than when you're in that position? No. Especially if you do it when you've just got out of bath. And you're in a prison. <laughs> a towel. In a prison. <laughs> Anyway, what was that about the parky clap? Oh, yeah. What are you on about? It's not like a, an STD. <laughs> the parky clap. <laughs> oh, I've got the parky clap. How did you, you get that? You had the, the parky clap. <laughs> <laughs> no, basically... I think you should demonstrate what yeah, the parky clap looks he like. Does, he's, got, he's got a certain clap and he, and he does this. <laughs> you have to describe it in audio for people on podcast. Right. Raises the hands it, yeah, in it's the like air. A, it's like a, praise the Lord, and then he claps. Praise the Lord! He clap like, clap. A, like a dove's wings. <laughs> <laughs> It's like this. It's like this. <laughs> the parky clap. It's like he goes. Clap. It's like he goes. Oh, hold the mic to my mouth. It's like he goes. I love you all. And clap off. You're all amazing. I tell you, we could start a trend here if it won't last game of the season. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to do a commentary wrap this game. Yes, those those of you, oh, the, those of you that are big fans of Banners Banner, may remember the commentary wraps as being one of the. The, the things you look forward to in this podcast, and we slowly weaseled it out because we it did. didn't work. And but because wouldn't it be fabulous if today, the last game of the season, we the last one. podcast of the season, yeah, we might score a commentary rap. It's the second half, and we've just been having a big debate about um, what you wear when you get in from, say you've been working or at school or college, whatever people do these days. Or if you're not going out at all. Yeah, it's not going out. I can't, there's nothing worse than sitting at home watching TV with the jeans on. Yeah, I totally agree. And a belt. <laughs> is it because I'm is it because I'm slightly overweight and it's uncomfortable? No, I do. Or is it, it is it same for normal people? As soon as I get in, I'm like clothes off, like comfy trackies yeah. on. Yeah, joggers, shorts, 
I mean, I've got, so, I've got some pyjama trousers that I've worn until like they, they look like papyrus that Egyptians used to write on. <laughs> the crotch is worn away. <laughs> yeah. And you. I yeah, mean, I have, sometimes yeah, I'm I have. Sometimes I'm so and if I move my legs, my like tackle flops out. <laughs> That's how holy they are. The thing is, though, my joggers also double as my decorating gear. So a lot of my joggers <laughs> have got like paint over them. Because I'm not, I'm not a decorator, so I don't have separate decorating Cranny gear. Cranny don't do that. It's no. Cool. If, even if Cranny's spending it a day at home, he gets up. Gets his best outfit on, puts his blusher on. <laughs> Granny said he's got, TV. he's got Calvin Klein pajama bottoms. I imagine there's silk. I bet. Did you get them from TK Maxx? No. Oh, oh right, right. It's full of it, isn't it? Phoenix. Phoenix in York. Phoenix. John Stead. John Stead has stormed forward. He's into the box now. He's just got one player. Oh, oh. that would him. That would have bombed Donna. And that one player I was talking about, he blasted it straight to. Come on, oh. I want to see a goal in last home game at season. But I, I actually think it should be illegal to wear a jean or hard trouser in, indoor. It just feels disgusting. It does. You it feel does. like you're getting sweaty, like dusty. You feel dusty in your own clothes. You'd, I, yeah, I completely agree. Who's that guy? Get lost. Cranny's just showed me a picture of a Huddersfield player who's got a Yorkshire... Oh, oh McLean! Yeah! yeah! <laughs> McLean scores! I just, I just mocked! Get in there! Come on! Nick Bradford City won! Crawley oh, Town we love McLean, don't we? And after all the stick we've been giving McLean. Nathan Doyle with a beautiful ball, Nathan Doyle. Perfect ball. To be fair, on us, that were put on a platter. It was. If he'd have missed that, he'd have been the worst player <laughs> since Don it Goodman. Won. He didn't, he didn't. Oh no, Don Goodman were alright. Right. I don't know why he didn't he's even do to any touches. And it, to be fair, he bounced perfectly for him and he put it in bottom corner. And do you take it all back, Dominic? No. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, well, no, fair play, good finish. It's 1 0. Good goal, eh? Good goal. They're ignoring me today. They're not talking to me. Good I, goal. I went. Good goal. <laughs> good, goal. good goal. Good goal. Uh, I went up to see my uh, my little nephew, and the first thing he said to me was, McLean's rubbish. <laughs> there I mean, you go, eat, eat uh, that. Sam. Sam. <laughs> that, that's the wrong saying. <laughs> well, what a good start to the second half. We're uh, five minutes in. And we've scored, it's Bradford City 1. I'm happy when I know that this Crawling nil. And it's pie in the face for Dom. That's me. I'm talking about myself in first Can I do a metaphor go pie in the face? No, I'm doing a pie in the face. Yeah, no, stopping it. Blocking no. it. It's a high five. Come on, let's do it. No. No. How are you? Getting an interview with the grey haired lady who sits the left of you. Uh, you've, you've been requesting you know this for a while. Do you know what? Time. Instead of phoning a fan, Tom's go. going up there. Oh, I'm oh, not going up. Get Cranny go. Not after the game. Not Cranny, that wire's long enough for you to go and interview him. It is. It is. Just go just sit there. Just the goal in the season so far. Yeah, just go sit there and just lean over. 85th minute Alaska. No, yes, Daniel Cran. Yeah, 85th minute. <laughs> yes. Daniel Cran, this is your challenge that you choose to accept it. You could rise yourself to a promotion here. You've got to interview the woman. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say what we usually call. She, she might watch this. <laughs> <laughs> she did look over and give me a sort of you know, a wink. <laughs> come to bed, eyes. eyes. Hey, Craig. She's got come a red. She's got a red lipstick on, Cranny. Come and interview eyes. She's got a red she lipstick has, on. Yeah. But we can just about see it in camera, Cranny. So if you go and sit next to her, we can get that interview. We can. There. We can get that in. I'll do. And that wire will reach near the end of the game. Yeah, that's fine. Oh yeah, we're not gonna put a timer on it. Excellent. Thompson is coming on the pitch. Best player we've got. Clap. Oh, he's got a nice round of applause. No, I think they were clapping McLean off. Oh, McLean off, then, yeah. Come on, Tomo, he's up for it. I love Tomo's score. Oh, oh McHugh! Oh, oh McHugh no. has dropped a bullet! Oh, no! And we just said it. We were talking about how good he is. And he literally dropped a bollock. Let him go. Drop him. I'm just joking. But yeah, it's right. 1 1. That is so down. weird how we're literally talking about the future. But again, yeah, that's, that's not decided his future. That's an experience thing. If we were older, it, it, well, it I'm, wouldn't surprise me if McLaughlin said, "Leave it." <laughs> anyway, right. So the players who will still be under contract. I'm not carrying on with this, Doc. Um, Andrew Davies. You going solo? No, no, are you joking? Not right. Cranny, pick up your microphone. No, no, I'm not doing it. <laughs> now remember. Is, yes. Remember, sorry Tom, I yeah. know you had some plan there, but no, re on, remember in the first half we mentioned that there was an exclusive, a sex exclusive. It's exclusive. So if you're under 18, turn off now. Uh, now, we've had it reported to us that there's a journalist within the press box. Just be careful, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's a journalist within the press box uh, related to the team we're playing today. I'm not going to say who they are, <laughs> yeah, but, but it's, the team, it's the team we're playing today. And apparently, stupid. apparently, she, Don't she has worked her way around. No, 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 no. Not yet. You can't see the six. 
she's worked her way around the team. Or, or he. Or he has worked her way around. Is that <laughs> what you mean by that? Yeah, that's what respect? I mean, yeah. Um, by uh, sleeping with them for exclusives. <laughs> now, Mike. <laughs> this was reported to us by a reputable journalist, okay? And the first thing that crops into your head is exclusive and crawly. <laughs> like, it's not real Madrid, is it? It's not getting like scoops on Ronaldo. She's getting scoops for, the, Torres. for the local rag. <laughs> L- literally the local <laughs> rag. But, like, oh. but, but we should. We sh- I, what I find most interesting about this is I find it a bit creepy because everybody knows. Do, do you think she knows that everyone knows? Oh, he. She, he, might he, 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 prob- he, might, he might do. We don't know. But, also, like, I'm trying to work out who, who he might have. Uh, and how has it happened? Slept with. And like, how, who, are the, who are the good looking players on Crawley? And how has it happened numerous times? Definitely Torres, look at his hair. <laughs> James Cracknell wanna be. And how has it but how has it happened multiple times? What do you mean like Did you do one and go? And how do you initiate it? How do you say? Yeah, when, I, like I when an, I won an exclusive. When was the I deal unraveled? made? Yeah. Well, they, did they tell first and then she did the deed he did the deed? Or did the deed How do you how do you like you sat in a hotel room and go, right, right. I'm, I'm only gonna sleep with you if you tell me what Steve Evans' secret is. Oh, what if Steve Evans is one of them? He's really, he's really a vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> but really, I don't know what sort of gossip really we're going to get. such a kind man. What sort of gossip we're going to get? I know. Clearly, she, he, uh, he just wants attention. There's only so many exclusives you can, you can like, get from a, a local team. This, this could put us in hot water. I don't think we so. We need to cover our backs We've somehow. not said any names. We've not mentioned the team we're talking about. It's fine. We're totally fine. People who are listening don't even know the sex of the person we're talking about. No. That's it. That's it. It's, it's pretty simple, really, isn't it? So there you go. We've been bringing you news, news like that for... Many well, years. Since about... Bantams, banty leaks. <laughs> it's where we reveal the identity of folk and then we call them out. Secrets. Shit, it's not looking good. God, God, shit. It's not looking good. Oh, they're in attack! No! Oh, wide. Um, Dom's gone up to speak to the lady. He's got to sp- up to speak to her, and she said no <laughs> to the lady who uh, we do call the donkey lady. We can probably call her right now. She makes a noise like a donkey. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a no. It's a no. Oh, this is a disaster. It's a glad you would up. Yeah, uh, we can hear you now. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. We've got rejected. Oh god. She's too scared. It. Too scared. She skews her head she off like a bumming donkey. Straw. Fair play. <laughs> Right, you got to move back over now, Cranny. Cheers, Cranny, for standing in. Hang <laughs> on, hang on. You're still on mute. I'm tangled up in this wire now. I'm going to fall down. Go on, you're all right. I've got a seat. So, some, pe- some people did request it to speak to the donkey lady, and she said no. So, yeah, we can call her what we want. Okay, yeah, that's why I'm calling her donkey lady. She rejected, which is weird, because she makes weird noises. She uh, she thought I was taking piss. What'd she say? She said, you're taking Mickey, aren't you? She said, I call them all sorts. <laughs> I said, it didn't matter. <laughs> Sorry, the referee just played on then. It looked like we were doing a really camp shit. <laughs> like going, da-da! <laughs> <laughs> Absolute Dale Winton poo. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's coming out now, boys. Yes. <laughs> Top Top out! Out! Oh! I was moist at the thought of the ball hitting the back of the net there. Moist! The men get moist. Tell me about the birds and the bees. I get sweaty. <laughs> that class, that class yeah. of moist. Come on, let's try another commentary rap. It was Shh. Got, one of them's got to got to work. Tom as ever not prepared. Five years we've been doing this. <laughs> it's starting too late. Come on, go on, go with it. Go well, then, it. you're going. Ball in. <laughs> Thompson puts the ball in the back of the net. Backward centre. And we knew he would. And even though we didn't rap the music on her, and that's what counts. It's Bradford City 2, Crawley Town 1. Brilliant. And Gary Thompson puts it in the back of the net. Come on. Look at his boots. Kiss him. Ow. Yeah. I just stood myself in the face. Get in there. Come on, eh. Just a few minutes left of this game, it's 2-1. Will Thompson have scored the last goal of Valley Parade of this season? We're about to find out. Come on, no way! What? I want to talk. A backwards header. We're when was the last time it. you saw a backwards header? We're predicting it. 
Backwards header. He did it with finesse and luck. I got it for your pants. Yeah, men can get moist. <laughs> Ooh, oh, Tom Thompson again. again. This show shall be known from now on yes. as the Gary Thompson revival. The Tom revival, and it's full time. That's, That's it. A stand-up round of applause for the mighty Bantams. Three points. And what a display to end on a and home game. And that's the final game at Valley Parade. Let's give these players the send-off they deserve. Our heroes, Bradford City, 2013-2014. And thank you ever so much for listening. It's been good, hasn't it? It's been good. And thank you, Tom. Thank you. Thank you, Dom. Thanks for existing. <laughs>